All right, so this week's build is a little less in depth than the past. I just kind of want to talk about some things that I like on the Void Hunter. I haven't played around with it too much, so I'm not going to go way too deep into this, but I absolutely love it with Sarder Scales. Sarder Scales is one of my favorite exotics on the Hunter, if you didn't already know that. Orpheus Rigs are also good, but Sarder Scales gets you just a little bit more damage, and, you know, it gives you your super faster, and... Another thing that's great for it, the uh, fragment that gives you devour when you pick up orbs. Well, Star Eater Scales lets you pick up orbs after your super's charged. So you can trigger devouring depths and have a times eight uh, feast of light all the time. And it's pretty great, especially if you're working with uh, a team that has the ability to create orbs. Say you're running. Uh, a titan with war dawn on your fire team that's three free warps that's a lot of your feasts of light stacks right there plus you'll have devour for devouring depths to do more damage with your super so just keep that in my starter scales with mobius quiver is an amazing combo especially with devouring depths and the fragment to give you devour on uh orb pickup and then, of course, Infinite Invis is pretty easy. There's tons of guides out there on how to do it. Just find one of those. I don't want to go into depth about it because it's done to death, really. So it's pretty easy. You just get a bunch of Invis increases and a bunch of different ways to trigger it, and you're good to go. Um, but uh, I also paired it with Izagnami and Pumera B because that's a really good damage combo by itself. And then I throw on a funnel web just because it's kind of really good. Uh, it has Vice Stinger, so it'll auto reload. It rolls Thresh. I was using a Thresh one here to get my super faster. That way I could pick up orbs as Feast of Light stacks instead of to charge my super. But yeah, there's just a bunch of different ways this works. Um, since you're going to be picking up orbs anyways, uh, Explosive Light weapon might be good, but you know. It's not technically the best thing in the game, so you might not want to run that. Lasting Impression is technically better. So yeah, uh, there isn't too much about this build. There's different mods to help. I would suggest you use uh, well mods because they're really good right now. So Volatile Rounds are always good. Font of Might is really good this season. Um, Melee Wellmaker, I don't know if it's just me, I'm doing it wrong or whatever. But with Smoke Bomb, it does feel a little weird. Like, sometimes it just doesn't trigger correctly. So, if you're planning on running uh, Melee Wellmaker on Night Soccer, just be aware of that. Um, Explosive Wellmaker is also great. Uh, it just spawns Solar Wells, but you do get some ability energy from those. So, don't shy away from it. More abilities means more invis, and that's not a bad thing. Anyways, this build's pretty simple. Uh, I hope that you try out Star Eater Skills with Mobius Quiver. That was basically what I was trying to say here. So, yeah, that's about it. Thank you. See you next time.